In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to embed on Substack. Whether you're a seasoned writer or just starting out on Substack, enhancing your content with various media can make a world of difference. So let's dive in and explore how you can incorporate images, videos, audio files, and more into your Substack post to create a richer reading experience. When you want to add images or GIFs to your Substack post, it's as simple as drag and drop. Yes, you heard it right, just grab your image or GIF and drop it directly into your Draftwork post. If you're more comfortable with menus, no worries. Click on the image icon in the editor toolbar to upload an image from your device. It's a breeze. Substack supports a variety of formats including .jpg, .png, .gf, .bbp and .avf. So go ahead and choose the one that best suits your needs. Another cool feature is the ability to insert free stock photos from Unsplash directly within the editor. This not only saves time but also opens up a treasure trove of beautiful imagery for your posts. Moving on to videos, just click on the video camera icon found in the editor toolbar. You have the option to either record a video using your device right there and then or upload a video file you've already created. Once uploaded, your video will seamlessly appear in your post and you can reposition it by dragging and dropping wherever you see fit. For audio files, you'll want to click on the headphones icon in the toolbar. This opens up the option for audio embed, allowing you to upload an audio file or record directly into your post. Whether it's a podcast snippet or some background music, adding audio can really enrich your storytelling. Now, what about rich media like YouTube, Spotify or TikTok? It couldn't be easier. Simply copy and paste the URL directly into your draft post. Substack will do the heavy lifting, automatically generating an embed preview for supported platforms. This feature ensures your readers get a dynamic experience without you having to worry about complicated coding. Lastly, it's important to note that in email versions of your post, some embeds might appear as static images. These static images will link to the content, so your readers won't miss out on the full experience even if the email client has certain limitations. And there you have it. With these steps, you're all set to enhance your Substack posts using a variety of multimedia. By incorporating images, videos, audio, and more, your content can be much more engaging and visually appealing. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this makes your Substack endeavors a bit more exciting. Happy writing!